In honor of Earth Day, Babcock Ranch has unveiled its new Eco Discovery Center here at Solar Ranch, the solar field that powers their entire neighborhood. I'm Fox 4's Henry County Community Correspondent Austin Shagorodsky. I report in this area almost every day, so I came here to see how it aims to educate youth about solar energy. Solar panels sprawl as far as the eye can see at Solar Ranch. They produce enough energy to power 30,000 homes at Babcock Ranch. But until now, Babcock Ranch founder and CEO Sid Kitson said there hasn't been a great way to show people the behind the scenes of America's first solar powered town. It's been a little frustrating not being able to let them come up and, uh, and see what we're doing. But now we can do that with this beautiful building uh, that uh, Florida Power and Light built. Kitson says the building has interactive exhibits to show people how solar power works and why it's so important. There's even an electric vehicle driving simulator that I couldn't resist taking for a spin. <laughs> They need to understand it, learn it now, so that in the future, it will become second nature to them. And the exhibit extends out onto the three-story viewing tower that overlooks the solar field. Kitson says one of its biggest impacts so far was keeping the town powered through Hurricane Ian. Normally, you're in the darkness, you got flashlights, you got radios, you got you know, all your emergency equipment. Nope, you could just sit there and watch it on TV go right over the top of us. Don Bishop, who has lived in Babcock Ranch for six years, said capabilities like that are what drew him to the neighborhood. You could tell that uh, there, was a, there was a vision to this place because of all the infrastructure that was built here. Bishop said he believes the Eco Discovery Center will inspire young people to get into solar energy, just like Babcock Ranch has done for him. We ended up putting solar on top of our rooftop and uh, close to being net zero. And FPL's Vice President of External Affairs and Economic Development, Pam Rauch says this is just the beginning of FPL's neighborhood partnerships. You're going to see our solar energy centers going up everywhere um, because it is the most cost effective and we're also protecting Florida's environment at the same time. The Eco Discovery Center will be open to the public on May 1st. Reporting at Babcock Ranch, I'm Austin Shagorodsky, Fox 4 News.